Hey guys, this is Shuman from ASC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to fix an operating system was not found. Try disconnecting any drives that don't contain an operating system. There are several reasons that could cause this to happen. The problem could any. The most common cause is when a system partition is in inactive mode. Actually, this is not any bootloader related issue. However, don't panic. This video will help you to activate a system partition. And also, this video will help you to repair BCD, I mean boot configuration data of an installed operating system. And one more thing, here I would like to inform you that this video is for legacy or BIOS based computers. Also this video will help you to add boot files to a PC after applying a new Windows image. Repair the system partition and set up or repair the boot menu on a dual boot PC. And one more very important thing, listen very carefully. If you are encountered with an error such as error code 0xc0000225 and access is denied, issue while fixing boot configuration data for Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803, then the second method on this video will help you to solve this huge problem. Well, let's get started. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have, you can easily get that by using Windows Media Creation Tool. If you already done this job, then just follow me. At first, insert the Windows installation media and just restart the computer by following the instruction on your computer screen. Just press Ctrl Alt Del combination to restart your computer and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key or hitting on F2 plus Del combination for desktop computer. Alright, next go to boot tab. As you can see, this PC's BIOS mode or boot mode is legacy. As I have said before that, this video is for legacy or BIOS based computers. If your PC's BIOS mode or boot mode shows UFI, then come to our channel. There's available a certain solution for you. Now just select your Windows installation media using up and down arrow key on the keyboard and just move this Windows installation media upward of the list using F6 key on the keyboard and F5 key for downwards. If you don't understand, then you can see the instructions on BIOS item specific help. Alright, now just press F10 key on the keyboard and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. Now be patient for a while until the Windows installation page is displayed. Alright, then just click on next and then click on repair your computer. Next click on troubleshoot option. Next I just click on common prompt. Now type the command this part and then hit enter. Next type the command list disk and then hit enter. Before typing the next command note select the disk number which is your boot disk. Here's mine boot disk number is 0. So I just type here cell disk 0 and then hit enter. Next type the command list hole and then hit enter. Then you will see the system partition and system drive. Before type the next command, note select the volume number, which volume is your system partition. Note the partition will be in MB format. Here's my system partition number is 1. So I just type here cell vol 1 and then hit enter. Next type the command active and then hit enter. Next type the command exit and then hit enter. Now type the final command exit and then hit enter. Now just turn off your PC and remove the Windows installation media.
All right, now let's check what happened. Yeah, done. As you can see that Windows 10 build 1709 is working properly. Now let's go to the advanced method. Alright, after boot from USB flash drive, now be patient for a while until the Windows installation page is displayed. Then just click on next and then click on repair your computer. Next click on troubleshoot option. Next I just click on command prompt. Now type the command boot sect forward slash nt60 space sys and then hit enter. Then you should see the message successfully updated NTFS or FAT32 file system boot code. And boot code was successfully updated on all targeted volumes as you can see. Now type the command this part and then hit enter. Next type the command list is and then hit enter. Before typing the next command note, select the disk number which is your boot disk. Here's mine boot disk number is 0. So I just type here cell disk 0 and then hit enter. Next type the command lisp hole and then hit enter. Then you will see the system partition and system drive. Before type the next command, note, select the volume number, which volume is your system partition. Note, the partition will be in MV format. Here's my system partition number is 1. So I just type here cell vol 1 and then hit enter. Next type the command active and then hit enter. Before type the next command, note, we suggest picking a drive letter between M and Z because earlier drive letters may still get assigned to drives that don't always show up in file explorer like optical and removable card drives. M to Z are almost never used on most Windows systems. So I just type here assign letter equals to Y colon then hit enter. Now you should see the message disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Yeah done as you can see. Alright next type the command exit then hit enter. Next type the command y colon then hit enter. Alright next type the final command bcd boot space c colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space y colon space forward slash f space bios note as you know this pc's bios mode or boot mode is legacy that's why here i have typed bios if your pc bios mode or boot mode is uefi then come to our channel there's available a certain solution for you all right now hit on enter that's it now you should see the message boot file successfully created yeah done as you can see now just type exit and then hit enter. Next select and click on turn off your PC and remove the Windows installation media. Alright now let's check what happened. Yeah done as you can see that Windows 10 build 1709 is working properly. We hope you will like, of course let us know your opinion. If you have any questions then please let us know. Please like, comment, share, we need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.